My name is Natalie, I'm 28, and I live in Atlanta, Georgia, and I have a number of bumps on my legs, my thighs, my arms. Basically, it's raised nodules that are very itchy, and they get thicker the more I itch. Basically, all the nodules are a little bit thicker on the arms. Um, they're also on my stomach, on the sides. As it's gotten worse, I've uh, went to more doctors, and I was given different topical stuff. Um, I was given a bleach cream to bleach the spots. I've changed my diet to gluten-free. I've tried different natural stuff. Um, none of this stuff worked. It wasn't until maybe 2017 where I decided to do my own research and I learned that it was pariconodularis. When this condition started at 21, it felt like maybe it was a rash that would eventually go away. Once my arms got covered, it made me feel like I had to hide more. Other ways that I hide my skin, I sometimes wear makeup on my hands and my feet. It's basically put the foundation on to the scars. It doesn't cover them up that much. It's only like a slight kind of concealing. It helps a little bit. I have gotten questions. I was in Chicago a few months ago, and this random girl asked me what was wrong with my hands, and I don't really know when someone does ask a question. I get emotional, so I don't want to experience that emotion. So I try to just bypass all that. I'm very self-conscious of this condition. I don't want rejection. I don't, like, I don't really open up to people um, and just kind of stick to myself. And it's been very pressing on me mentally. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I've had many different dark thoughts, um, depression, like thinking that this will never change. But I'm in a place now where I want to be brave and just kind of like let this thing not take so much power over me. Hello, hey, Natalie, how are you? right? Hi, yes. How are you? It's so Welcome. good to meet you in person. Oh, I like your mask. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so glad that Natalie made her trip from Atlanta. I was able to speak with her via video conference, which really gave me some ideas about her condition. You've actually seen people, right? Mm -hmm. If I remember correctly. I've seen, seen a number of dermatologists. Okay. And nothing has really helped. You know, you've heard the name Perigo nodularis, and you, and that's more of like a description of what this is, what it looks like. What they see under the microscope, what we see when we look at it, are bumps that are due to a lot of manipulation in mm -hmm. the area. Natalie is right, she does have perigo nodularis, but that is a very um, non-specific skin condition. It's really a descriptive term. It just really means that you've been scratching or picking at some area chronically and causing the skin to thicken in the area. In the biopsy, they say these are most often seen from scratching. Right. Like it kind of, it probably happens to you, I'm guessing more when you have a quiet moment. And at then night it happens, is the worst. Right? At night's yeah. the worst. The pattern of Natalie's skin condition, her biopsy results, and also the fact that she's been itching a lot more at night really give me clues as to her diagnosis, but I really need to take a close look to confirm this. I also thought it was just really interesting that they were so perfectly spaced. Right. But you never have one like that's right next to the other one. I'm gonna check your back. Yeah. So you can reach up here? Yes, I can reach up there. Okay, mm -hmm. and then I'll put down here, like do you get a, like you don't get anything on your lower back No, here, like huh? by my bra strap, there's probably none. Face, you no, avoid, no, no. yeah? Mm -mm. Something that I'm noticing is the distribution of the bumps. Why do you not see that on her back, but you see it on her arms and her legs and her torso? I think there's really one option left. Um, if you didn't scratch at these areas, do you think that they would, they would not appear? Honestly, I think there'd be something. Yeah, I try to not itch, but there's some kind of sensation that's causing right, it. Right, right. So I that's understand why I don't that. know what is triggering that. <sighs> yes, sometimes we don't know the answer. Right. We don't know why, but I really think it's in your mind. Um, like obsessive compulsive condition where you feel like there's some, you feel compelled to pick at something because something about it bothers you. So we just need to try to stop that kind of compulsion to, to pick. I definitely don't think it's that. 
So I, I, don't, I don't know. I totally believe that, that there is itchiness there. But I think if we can train your mind to not pick at it, that would be the way to get to the bottom of this. Is there a way that we can block you from scratching? Right. I'm going to try different things on you. Okay. We're, we're going to decide this together. OK? okay. All right, I'll, I'll see you inside. Okay, OK, see ya. It freaks me out, the whole like OCD thing, because I'm like, no one wants to believe that they have like some kind of mental situation going on. There's still so many unanswered questions regarding it, so I'm down to try whatever to figure this out, and hopefully she has the answers. We're gonna try some different things. So, have you ever used anything called cordron tape? Um, no, I don't think I have. Okay. I've given Natalie a special tape that's really impregnated with strong topical steroids to really serve in two different ways. One is to increase the penetration into this thick bump so that we can help shrink it, and the other is by covering it with tape, it helps to keep you from picking at it. And then maybe, like, we'll do that one. Okay. And I think that steroid, too, can help decrease the feeling of that itch, right. you know? And then, lastly, we have this. That's why I have Valerie here. Mm -hmm. She's going to do what's called an una boot, because we use it sometimes on people's legs. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like an ace bandage cast. We wrapped a part of your left hand, and we left it there for a week. What do you think? Yeah, I'm going to see. Because if you could do it for, like, three weeks mm -hmm. straight, I think you could see a potential result awesome. there. Awesome. Because a lot of times, the more you scratch, the more it itches. The more crazy it gets. So mm -hmm. we're trying to break that, too. Yeah. Natalie is caught up in this little vicious cycle here. So I really need to disrupt the cycle to make way for healthier behavior and healthier skin. So it's just this little medicated thing. Yeah, so like with the whole OCD thing, just hearing that, like, like oh, yeah. God. No, like, no. It's sort of like an OCD in the terms of not a diagnosis. Sometimes people have a compulsion. You cannot physically stop scratching it. Mm -hmm. I know that it's very confusing and a little scary, and it's normal to get a little defensive if a doctor may say that you may be part of the reason that this is happening. The first step is accepting that and I hope that she can. Is yeah. it, what do you think? Do you think it's gonna be possible? Um, I'm, I, I think, think you're it's something, to try I'm gonna, it. gonna try it and see what happens. You like challenges, I feel like. <laughs> you can do it. Let you're an independent woman. <laughs> okay, Thank that you might so work. Much. You're welcome. I'll see you. I do still feel like still some kind of underlying thing that's causing me to itch, but this is just, you know, one little, more, one more road to go down to see if it'll help. I think that Dr. Lee definitely enlightened me today. Um, I'm just going to, to see what will work for me and what uh, really is uh, the cause of this condition.